y'all welcome i am in a totally different place this is actually my office welcome to my office <laughs> i'm not at home because it is 84 degrees at home we have not had power for the last three days but i have power here Woohoo! <laughs> so i'm you know i'm in texas i say that all the time but our texas power grid is kind of crazy we had like a three hour storm um a few days ago and it kicked out our power and most of our neighborhood's power came on at like, I don't know, three in the morning. Another big chunk of our neighborhood's power came on mid-morning the next day. And then um, for us, it was like, not the next day and not the next day, but today. And uh, that's, that's great. I'm so happy our power came on, but I really need to film so I can send this box back. And it's like, uh, 84 degrees at home. So I'm not doing it because I respect these clothes and I don't want to sweat in them in case I need to send some back, which I always do send some back. <laughs> yeah. So I've got a DNCO box. This is my monthly style box. Um, I pay $30 and I get seven items. You can pay $24 and get five items, or you can pay, I think it is $15 maybe. I'll end up putting it down there <laughs> to let you know and get three items. You know, I found, I like Dia, but I found some major price inconsistencies and so even if i loved all seven of these items i can almost guarantee that something's going to be very grossly overpriced compared to what i could purchase it for um, online cheaper uh, so i definitely won't keep all seven items but paying the 30 dollars gives me a much broader chance of loving something that 30 dollars is credited back to my box and if there's a sale going on i have found i can write customer service and y'all <laughs> customer service will say no, you know, they appreciate that there is a sale, but they can't honor like the 40% off or whatever it is. And I just let them know that, you know, that I'm going to go ahead and send these back to you and I'll order it for 40% off because I'm going to get a much better deal that way. And I've had them go ahead and have me check out at full price and then give me a 40% partial refund. You know, I'm okay with that. And I don't really feel like I'm taking advantage because I could literally go online in that moment and order that item for 40% off yeah if you feel like i am i really apologize that's not my intention my intention is just for it to kind of feel fair all right so without further ado let's open up this month's dia style box all right y'all there's some really cute stuff right off i see some denim i see some nice colors it looks like this is this feels like it's kind of a i don't know if microfiber suede something like that not microfiber i'd say suede something like that and then there's some really pretty little florals down in here so i kind of like that we're in you know, the heat of the summer and, and having some florals is a good thing. Oh, and then there's something really pretty and bright yellow back here. Ah, that looks neat. I'm setting it down because I'm not good at juggling all this stuff. No, let's sit over here. Okay, so I've got my bag that is going to allow me to send the things back that I don't want. Tossing it. <laughs> I have my invoice and my note from my stylist and my stylist's name is Manisha. Y'all, I don't know how the YouTubers <laughs> who are like filming and holding do it because I have one hand, which is my right hand, that is good at everything and my left hand can't even brush my own hair. So <laughs> I might have to set it out of frame so that, I can, so, that, so that I can hold these things up for you. All right, out of frame works a lot better. Now I got two hands, <laughs> okay? First I have this East Adeline top. It's a really pretty kind of goldenrod yellow. It has kind of a very silky t-shirty material that is both in the front and the back before it has the shell over it. So it's, it's like a nice kind of probably fitted um, tank top all the way. And then the shell that has the kind of draped neck just sits over it, which I think is going to probably create a very pretty effect. The people that I've seen it on, I've really liked it. Now I've seen this in like some pretty teals and some purples. This is my first time to see it in goldenrod and I'm excited to receive one on my own. Oh, I'm excited to receive one of my own. So y'all, this is a 4X, which, you know, one thing that I do love about subscription boxes, Dia has been very good on sizing. There are things that I um, have received where, you know, I'm a 22W and I am uh, typically a 3X. Well, that they sent me a 4X, most likely means that people have sent it back and reported that it runs small. And let me tell you, whenever they do that, it typically runs small. And 
I um, I need that larger size. And there have been there I've actually received something before that came in a 20 and I was like, oh Lord, there's no way this is gonna fit me. <laughs> and it did, but it's because they're very good about asking for feedback and working with that. So I appreciate it. So the self, which is like that body that I was saying is kind of the t-shirt material is 95% rayon and 5% spandex. And then the contrast, which is the beautiful little draping, that's 100% polyester. So I think that this is going to be lovely on we'll see about the uh, sleeveless y'all the hotter it gets it's like 104 today the less i care about how my arms look <laughs> i've got a lot of yellow going on in this box oh this looks like it's going to be pretty this is by adorn women so it's kind of a spaghetti strap but then it also has the little flutter sleeve that goes around this is a 22W. It has a nice zipper in back. It has a chiffon overlay and it looks like it's cut kind of like the impure waist, which it goes right under the breast. Um, I'm saying impure, even though everything in me wants to say empire <laughs> because that's how I always said it growing up. But it looks like it's a little bit A-line. It just kind of goes out from that waist. And it has some pretty ruffling in the top that almost does a surplus little crossover. And then it also has, this is a complete, there is nothing wrap about this, but the ruffle gives almost a wrap effect down here at the bottom. Yeah, and it has a, it's got a zipper back. I'm not sure if I said that, but there is a zipper back. So if it's a little tight and y'all, I'm at the office alone right now. So in the event that I don't turn around, you'll know it's because I couldn't zip it myself. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Okay. I don't know what they're charging and I'm not gonna actually look yet, but I saw, I believe this is the Sorrento by City Chic. Yes, it's the Sorrento skirt by City Chic. Y'all, the Sorrento shirt by skirt, skirt by City Chic in a yellow is on sale right now for $10. I can almost guarantee this is not $10 in the Dia box. Uh, but uh, if I like it, I'm totally ordering it from City Chic. I, unless I like it and it happens to be $20 or less. We'll see. But yeah, I, I think it's pretty. It's got a delicate little floral pattern. It has three layers of fabric that are sewn together here. And the last one has a bit more of a ruffle. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And so yeah, three tiers, total elastic waist. I think that this is pretty. Let me see what it would do. I wonder if that's too yellow. No, I think that'll actually be really pretty together. I like whenever I get a full outfit. This is an extra large slash 22 by Starling Renee. Oh gosh, y'all. Okay. So, <laughs> so it is a long sleeve dress, but it's a very light kind of gauzy material, but y'all, <laughs> so you can see through this kind of crocheting here. But girls, you can also see through this crocheting down here. Um, so that's going to be interesting. I do not have my closet available to try on other things. So I might be putting something else on if it's just too scandalous. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, it's black. It's a very pretty floral. I would almost call it like black and gold and black gold and kind of a cream color. The, the extra large, you know, I... I say this a lot, but whenever there is a, um, a company that kind of specializes in plus size clothes, they, they kind of redo the labels a lot like Torrid, how they do like zero, one, two, et cetera. And then not even plus size, but Chico's kind of does the same thing. And I think they do like straight sizes and plus sizes. Yeah. And so this does have a really pretty bell sleeve. I'm interested to see what this does on though. I cannot imagine wearing it without a, um, a tank. And you know what? I wish <laughs> I actually just sewed this closed. This is a little dress that I got from Stitch Fix. It was actually my very first Stitch Fix box. And I, I sewed it right here. And before that, I was wearing it with an undershirt, which would have been perfect. But ah, I decided to fix it instead. <laughs> I thought that it would be hot and I wanted fewer layers. This is also by City Chic. Y'all, every time there's something by City Chic in here, after I bought my first couple City Chic things and then found them on City Chic's site for like half the cost, I've been pretty diligent about looking it up. If that's something you'd like me to put on the screen, like price here, price at City Chic, I'll be happy to do it. I don't know that City Chic, I mean, I don't know that <laughs> Dia and Co would like me to do that, but I'm here for y'all. I'm not here for Dia and Co. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm here for Dia and Co and y'all. This is, this is by City Chic. It is very much like a, a just a kind of 
crepey material also, and it looks like it's got a higher cut. The arms look so interesting. So it's kind of like a cape sleeve right here from the shoulder. And then you can see that it's got armholes that are protected so we don't have like bra hanging out and showing. And then this sleeve goes down all the way around and kind of to the armpit. So it looks like it's gonna kind of cut like this and circle back down. Unsure, but I think that it's very pretty. I think this might be what she was talking about with the romantic tops. I don't know, the yellow one might be too. What do I know about romance? <laughs> okay, let me see what that was made of. I'm doing a very bad job, y'all. I'm out of my element. <laughs> <laughs> literally and figuratively. Yeah, this is 95% polyester and then 5% elastane. It's interesting because every once in a while you'll get a product that has like that 5% elastane or 5% spandex and you really feel some stretch. Like this one, you almost can't tell. Like there might be a smidge of stretch because sometimes I'm like, who that 5% sir goes a long way. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is kind of a, I think they called it a faux suede, but this is by Bagatelle, the Bagatelle collection. Y'all, this is super lightweight and it reminds me a lot of kind of that a watermelon one that I kept from one of my very first wantables I think that it was the floral box I ended up keeping like those little floral shorts and I kept I think it might have even been by Bagatelle now this is a this is a 2x which Lord knows I'm not doing a whole lot of 2x but this is the shell is 90% polyester 10% spandex, and then it says the double lining is 100% polyester, which I don't, oh, I guess that there is a lining, like it's it's faced out, and then it says that you have to dry clean, it's a dry clean only. Um, so this has kind of a waterfall neck, which can be very pretty. Interesting to see what this looks like on. I cannot imagine wearing it in like 104 degree temp. <laughs> Last, we got my somewhat wide leg Madewell jeans. They do look wide-legged. These don't have any distressing at all, which is fascinating. They're by Madewell, they are 22W. They have humongous pockets. Oh, wow. Y'all, this says how to care for your jeans. You need to do well. It says, do not wash after everywhere. Try every 10 times. Okay, um, I don't know that I could go 10 times without washing jeans. I, I wash everything after everywhere <laughs> like what about you guys do y'all wash after everywhere i'm interested ah made well as part of j crew these are 99 percent cotton one percent elastane and this is an example look there i feel some stretch that one percent goes a long way i don't know like first glance i would not have picked these up in the store they look a little too baggy i know i'm like <laughs> But Meredith, you said you wanted wide leg. And I'm like, oh, but I don't want baggy. I'm just particular, y'all. I'm gonna start trying some of this stuff on. We're gonna see how it goes. I'll scoot you back so you can get a the full view. <laughs> Lucky y'all. <laughs> okay, this right here is like the world's most awesome office bathroom. <laughs> we, we've got a three-person office. It's a family office. And this is like an executive type bathroom that we all kind of share. And then we have like a men's bathroom and a women's bathroom, so it's big. <laughs> It's like super awesome. We could all go to the bathroom at the same time. It would be good. These are the Madewell jeans. They fit kind of weird. They sit super high and they're a little bit snug. I'm going to have to look and see. They are short. I don't think they said they were cropped. Yeah, it just says that they're straight leg. Um, and I guess she's saying they're more wider leg because they're not skinny, which they're not skinny. Um, but I would definitely call them straight as opposed to wide. But that, I do have wide calves, so that can be part of it. This is the romantic top by City Chic, and I really like the way this is cut. I love that I can raise my arm and I don't have to worry about anyone seeing my bra. I don't have to try and keep my arms down. I even think it's a very pretty color. Um, I like what it's doing in the back. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is either a keeper or a, I'm gonna go look and see what, <laughs> what the price is at City Chic. I don't know, I think this is kind of a cute outfit. Did I show y'all how high, I mean like, look, these pants sit high, like my belly button's here. There's like a, I don't know, like a dollar bill worth, a good six inches <laughs> of jeans above it. So, but yeah, I like it. Okay, so the restroom is awesome, but it does not have a full length mirror. I um, do feel a little bit self-conscious about the fact that you can see like everything here. I would not wear this out in public without an under thing. Because I was wearing that navy dress, I'm wearing a navy bra, and so you can definitely see where like there's belly, there's bra, and then there's chest. And this is just not something that I would feel comfortable in. Now, if I put on a black cami or a flesh tone cami, it would work. But I do love the bell sleeves. I think they're cute. 
I don't like the crocheting. I'm just too old to go around showing everyone my goods. I do kind of feel like a hippie though. So I got that going for me. <laughs> on, you know what, on that note though, I do need to say that this is one that I chose and I'll show you real quick how it works. It's kind of like Stitch Fix in a way, but you know, it does it its own way. It almost every day you could go on and you could see different things and add, and it's not always good stuff. Sometimes it's like, you know, crazy, <laughs> crazy things. And sometimes it's super seasonal. And sometimes it's like, why well, we got a lot of sweatpants and, and, uh, and heavy jackets. That's kind of weird. And, but you do get to go in, you see the prices, you get to make choices. And this was one of the ones that I selected and I totally did not realize that it would have this delightfully sheer front. <laughs> I could totally see this pretty adorned dress on a date night with my husband to remind him that I'm feminine and pretty. <laughs> Delicate. Those are not normally words that he probably used to just, I mean, he'd say pretty. But, um, and he'd probably say feminine, but not delicate. <laughs> so, I think it's really nice. I like the ruffle on the bottom and I like how long it is in the back. It's called a cold shoulder dress because it's got this, you know, cold shoulder. I like that it's not just a cutout. Sometimes I think that it's like, oh, what can they give these plus size outfits? Let's throw a cold shoulder in there to give it some, some style. I saw one the other day that had like a cold shoulder and it had a one sleeve. I'm like, oh, there's too many elements going on in that, <laughs> that dress. But I do think it's nice. I tucked my bra straps down because navy bra. And I like the faux wrap ruffle and that it continues along the bottom. I think that's a nice detail. And I do really like, I mean, I, it does just feel so delicate right up here on top. And then this guy just continues on and that's what goes down and causes the little faux wrap. It almost feels like there should be a tie, which I'm not real upset that there's not because I never know what to do with them half the time I just hang them up in my closet. <laughs> but it does kind of seem like it because it tapers here and then it starts again, that there almost should be a tie. But it's all right, it's all right. Um, I, do, I do like this dress. I don't think that I could wear it, I mean, I could wear it to the office. No one here would say anything. They'd just be like, hey, that's a nice dress, Mayor. But um, I don't know that it's meant for an office. This does feel more like a sunny day, a frolic outside, and you know, flapping my wings or a date night kind of situation. All right, this is actually kind of a super cute outfit together. I would not have thought like the tan with the golden rod, but I feel, you know, I feel pretty cute. I do like the skirt. Um, I'm gonna probably go see if it's still $10 at City Chic <laughs> because that's a good deal. And yeah, now this, um, this top, I love the waterfall. What I was thinking was that the waterfall here with the drapery here would be like overpowering, but I kind of like it. It's, it all feels very soft. It feels very unstructured. I think that's neat. All right, I'm gonna take this guy off. The top on its own, this is the one that I said was a 4X, I believe. And it does feel very loose. You can see, I mean, there's a lot of, of uh, fabric back here. I don't necessarily know that I want it to cling, but I do not feel like, I don't feel like it's fitting, um, but I do feel like it's very pretty. So um, there's that. My little layered skirt, I think is a great length. It's right around my knees. I would not be worried about bending over that kind of thing. And yeah, uh, so far I like the items in this box totally dependent on the price. And I have found that to really be the case with the price. Um, I'm going to see, I might take you to my desk because I don't know how I'm going to manage looking at the prices. <laughs> All right. <laughs> welcome to my office. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I've got our clothes. I think that this will be really conducive to, <clears throat> to looking up what things are and comparing that way. So we're going to start with the Bagatelle Amanda Faux Suede Jacket. And this is in the color taupe. It's a 3X and this is $83. Okay, so I'm going to look that up. So y'all, it looks like this maybe was kind of a closeout thing. It's original MSRP is actually over $83. It looks like it's $89. But you can find it on sale at a lot of places for like $45. It looks like this perhaps is a clearance product. Um, I like it if, uh, you know, I've actually purchased one for almost the same price from Wantable, so I don't necessarily think that this is a bad deal if I was in the market for something like this. All right, so this is the East Adeline Haley Cowneck. Um, it is in mustard. I kind of thought it was like a golden rod. Mustard's probably a great color too, especially like that fringes, like super bright yellow. Um, this is $45. Going and looking at what I can find it for online, it's very similar. I can find it for $43. I can find it for $44. I can find it for $45. 
And so I think this is probably priced right. I feel like I probably needed it in a size smaller, so I'll see if they do an exchange because that might be a good way to spend my $30. I'm adding 15 onto it as long as they can exchange the size. So now, the Madewell jeans. Now here is a place where I actually feel like I'm getting a good deal. I didn't love these jeans, but had I, purchasing them through Dia & Co is actually kind of a better deal. These are a size 22 and they're $79 from Dia & Co, where whenever I go on to Madewell, they're $138. So it's actually quite a good savings to purchase these from Dia & Co if the style totally worked for me. Now it doesn't, so good deal or not, if I don't love it, I don't need it. I was starting to think that universally, uh, Dia was not giving us a good, a good deal, but I think that it just varies product by product. Okay, so next we have the Adorn Grace Cold Shoulder Dress. All right, so I can find this online for like $72. It's $79 from Dia & Co. And y'all, I don't mind a markup like that whenever it comes in the subscription box. I know that I'm not actually purchasing this for the deal, but it's whenever it's $72 online and they're trying to sell it to me for $100 that it really kind of gets me irritated. So I actually don't think that this is a bad deal. I'm gonna look at this again and make sure it doesn't wash me out too much. If it does, it's a no. Um, if not, it's lovely and I could keep it as is and wouldn't have to try and return it. Okay, City Chic. This is where things always get a little dicey <laughs> with Dia & Co. And so I'm going to go on to City Chic's website. So from Dia & Co, this is called the Silas Romantic Top. I, nothing came up whenever I typed in Silas, but whenever I type in Romantic Mood Top, this top does come in and it comes in a bunch of different colors and it's super cute. I think it's super cute on. I like the way it fits. It's an extra large from City Chic. The MSRP on City Chic is $69. Now, Dia & Co sells it for $64, so a little bit below MSRP. But City Chic actually sells it on their website for $41.40. Now, I have a hard time paying $64 for something that I can literally order right now for $41.40. And y'all, I have ordered things from City Chic that I got in my Dia box because it was just so close to, I mean, sometimes it's like half off. Like for half the price, there's no way I can justify that. I think it's cute if I look back at the video and I think, oh my gosh, I've got to have it. I'm probably ordering it from City Chic. I, I said Starling Renee earlier. It's Starling Rain, R-E-I-N. And this dress is, they call it the Vivian Free Soul Dress. And I found a lot of times too, if I went to look things up on from Dia & Co, I just take off the girl name that they call it. So like that last thing said that it was the Silas Romantic Mood. I took off Silas and I was able to find it. This says that it's the Vivian Free Soul Dress. I typed in Starling Rain Free Soul Dress. And I was able to actually find this at Target. Now Target's MSRP is $119. Dia & Co is selling this for $79. Oh, look y'all, hang on, Walmart's got it now too. Same price, $54.50. Or $54 Are Walmart and Target now like, I don't know, drop shipping is not the word, but um, like sales engines where people can just sell on them? I don't know, that's interesting. All right, finally, my Sorrento skirt. And this one kind of irritates me just a little bit, but I have to preface this. I'm actually not gonna preface it. I'm gonna tell you why I'm irritated and then I'm gonna explain why maybe I should not be so irritated with Dia and maybe a little bit of my irritation should be with City Chic. So, the Sorrento skirt is $10 on City Chic site. Now it is final sale, okay? Dia & Co sells it for 48. On City Chic site, they say that the MSRP is $59. Okay, so I wouldn't pay $59 for the skirt. I think $10 is a steal. So probably somewhere in the middle, right? Maybe $30. I guess that my issue, you know, whenever I, I, I kind of, whenever I get things by City Chic, from Dia & Co, I think, oh my gosh, I'm being robbed. But really, I think that the problem is probably City Chic themselves. They are giving discounts to the public, but really not protecting the relationship that they have with their retailers. A long time ago, I was making bibs. They were monogram bibs and I would sell them to little tot shops. And I would sell them, say I sold them to the tot shop. They were like coated fabric. So they, you, could, you could wipe them and no food would stick, that kind of thing. And so say that I sold them to my little tot shops for $10. I had one lady kind of break it down to me and she's like, now I want to make sure that if you're selling this to me for $10, that if you sell it to anyone in the public that you're gonna sell it for 20 because if I put it in my store at $20 and someone pulls out their cell phone and types it in and they see that you're selling it for 10, 
that really damages my relationship with my client and then it also is going to damage my relationship with you and it kind of had this light bulb go off and i then i was very careful after that point to kind of make sure that i was honoring that relationship that's one place where i think that city chic and dia have some kind of disconnect because it does make me feel negatively toward dia and co when possibly city chic is a little bit at fault too now that's not to say that i'm going to pay 48 dollars for the skirt from dia and co i'm sending this bad boy back and if I decide that I want it, I'm ordering it from City Chic. So relationships be what they are. I'm not going to be stiff with my money. All right, y'all, I want to thank you so much for coming. Please let me know what you think, and um, I hope to see you in the next one.